So one of the key focuses of my lab is how when you and I eat a diet, uh, either a, a bad diet like fast food or a, a healthy diet like fruits and vegetables, before our human cells see it, our microbes that live in our gut actually metabolize those first. So we're actively studying how microbes, when they eat the diets that we eat first, make interesting metabolites and, and signals that come from microbes only that can impact common diseases like cardiovascular disease, obesity, diabetes, uh, liver disease, in particular liver cancer and other cancers. And one of the exciting things that we're doing collaboratively at the Cleveland Clinic that has huge clinical relevance is designing new drugs that block diet microbe host interactions. So small molecule inhibitors of microbial pathways that can improve human health. So this is something very unique uh, to the Cleveland Clinic and my group and Stan Hazen and many others are kind of pioneering in this area of drug discovery, focusing on microbes and not anything in our host system. So we, we envision a day where we can actually develop drugs that are microbe targeted that don't actually go systemically so they're not, uh, they're, they're fewer side effects. Being at the Cleveland Clinic, a world renowned kind of academic medical center, we have a very unique training environment. So everything is relevant to human disease. Uh, as a part of the training here, you're actually assigned a clinical mentor along with your basic scientist mentor. So you actually usually see patients that are suffering from the disease of, of interest. And almost every project is focused on some aspect of human disease and translation of basic science into new therapies or new devices, new things that can improve human health. So there's this very unique partnership between basic scientists like myself, PhDs, and clinicians who are seeing patients. And you're immersed in that, that rich environment as a student. And it's a very unique place to where you're doing really translational science.